Hello everyone. Welcome to this course of Yellow Physics. My name is Bappi Ahmed and I'll be your course instructor. So through this entire course, we'll be learning about Yellow Physics. If you don't know, Yellow Physics is a next generation object detection algorithm. So after giving you the high level overview of this Yellow Physics, I'll be showing you how to do object detection using this Yellow Physics. So if you have some custom data set and if you want to apply Yellow Physics on top of that and if you want to perform object detection, I will be showing you the entire steps of that. So instead of talking too much, let's get started with our YOLO physics. If you know a little bit about the story of this YOLO, uh, you will be knowing about uh, one of the most popular voice projects in computer vision is YOLO. So the full meaning of this YOLO is you only look once. YOLO is an efficient real-time object detection algorithm first described in a seminal 2015 paper by Joseph Redmond et al. YOLO divides an image into a grid system and each grid detects objects within itself. It can be used for real-time inference and require very few computational resources. So today, seven years after the first version of YOLO was released, the research group at Mayton published the new YOLO V6 model. Now let's discuss about how people used to approach any kinds of object detection problem before YOLO. Before YOLO, the two-stage object detection architecture dominated the field. It used reason-based classifiers to locate areas and then pass them to a more robust classifier. It is very resources incentive requiring many iteration in this operation. So if you see, this is the two-stage object detection architecture, but the main problem was it is like very resources intensive and require many iteration okay, in its operation. Then when YOLO comes into picture, YOLO suggested a different methodology where both stages are conducted in a same neural network. First, the image divided into cells, each having an equal dimension regions like H time S. Each cell detects and locates the objects. It contains with bounding box coordinates. So here if you see, uh, this is the YOLO model, okay, so what it will do, it will first of all try to break down your images, okay, in a cells. Uh, so each cells actually will be uh, equal dimension, okay. Then each cells will uh, then each cells will uh, detect and locates the objects okay in it uh, with the help of this bounding box coordinates okay because each cells works on its own okay it can process the grid simultaneously and reduces the required computational power and time needed to train and infer in fact YOLO achieves the state of the art results uh, beating other real time object detection algorithm now let's discuss about what version does YOLO have. So in 2015, you only look once uh, unfied real-time object detection algorithm was released, uh, which was the version of YOLO v1. Then 2016, uh, a better a better version came and it was like too strong, uh, which was like YOLO v2. Then April 2018, they had done some incremental improvement in this YOLO architecture and they have came with a solution, which is YOLO v3. Then 2020, uh, they have uh, made this optimal speed and accuracy of object detection with the help of this YOLO V4. Then in 2020, uh, our famous YOLO V5 uh, came into market, okay, and it was, uh, it didn't have any paper, okay, it was just GitHub repository from Alter Analytics. And in 2022, YOLO V6 was inspired by the original one stage uh, YOLO architecture, uh, and they have named it YOLO V6. But one important note is uh, YOLO V6 uh, is not a part of the official YOLO series. Uh, YOLO V6 is a single state object detection framework dedicated to the industrial application uh, with hardware friendly, efficient design and higher performance and it outperforms YOLO v V5 is detection accuracy and inference speed making it the best best version of the YOLO architecture for the production application. So if you see YOLO V6 achievements, so YOLO V6 Nano achieves uh, 35 uh, uh, mean average precision on COCO uh, 2017 datasets with uh, 1,242 FPS on T4 using TensorRT FT16 for uh, BS32 inference. And if you see YOLO V6 S achieves uh, 43.1 uh, mean average precision on COCO dataset uh, 2017 and the FPS was 520 uh, on, on this T4 using TensorRT, okay. Now let's see some benchmark between uh, various YOLO series, okay. So if you see this red one is a uh, uh, YOLO V6, okay. And YOLO, and YOLO V6, that means red ones provides a better mean average precision, okay, than all the previous version of the YOLO. 
with approximately 2, 2x faster inference time okay and we can see uh, a huge performance gap between yolo based architecture and efficient dead uh, which is based on the two stage object detection so this is the uh, efficient dead if you see okay so there are uh, huge uh, performance gap between them now if i talk about video inference okay uh, same as in the single image inference yolo v6 provides a better results for the video uh, on all the fps spectrum okay so if you see uh, this is the uh, this red one is yellow v6 okay and the speed wise okay if, if you see it is like quite fast faster and uh, if you see the uh, main average precision okay it is uh, like also high okay so uh, this was like uh, some benchmark okay between uh, this uh, various yellow v uh, i mean uh, yellow v your series model uh, so this this was the benchmark uh, between this yellow v series model now let's now let's discuss uh, about benchmark of this yolo v6 model okay so the first model is yolo v6n okay and this is the size of the model uh, this is the pixel and this is the uh, mean average precision if you see okay and this was like speed and para parameters okay and flops then you have the uh, yolo v6 tiny model okay so th this was the parameters if you see okay then you have yolo v6s model okay which is uh, contains like these are the parameters and flops okay so this was all about like benchmarks uh, between this yolo v v6 model now yolo v5 versus yolo v6 if i talk about okay so now if you see yolo v6 n uh, the size of the pixel is uh, 640 and the uh, mean average precision was 35 okay and parameters was like 4.3 million uh, and if i talk about yolo v5 n model so if you see mm, the pixel size was same although but a mean average position was like uh, too low with compared to yellow v6 and the parameters was like 1.9 and if you see uh, in yellow v6 and okay inside the parameter size is 4.3 so which is like very good and uh, if i talk about yellow v6 s model uh, so uh, the mean average position was like 43.1 and uh, the parameter size was like 17.2 million okay and if i talk about yellow v5 uh, s model so the mean average position was 37.4 and if i talk about the parameter size it was 7.2 million <laughs> now let's see some quality comparison between yellow v5 and yellow v6 so if you see the picture here if you see the first picture okay you can see it is uh, the results from yellow v6 model and the confidence score was of this person 93 percent but if i talk about yellow v uh, yellow v5s model okay so now see uh, the confidence score was 0 point, uh, uh, 60, uh, 67 okay 0 0.67 and the second person uh, confidence score was 0, uh, 0 0.91 and it was 0 0.88 okay so see although the image is same but uh, if you see the uh, okay confidence score it's like very good and it is also able to detect the tie with the confidence score of uh, uh, 0 0.82 okay and it is also able to identify the tie and all but uh, one thing i have noticed in uh, yellow v5s it, it is also able to identify this small tie but in this case okay, it is failing this uh, actually information uh, but the confidence score it is giving okay it's like pretty good now let's see some of the more example okay so this is the images you can see and the confidence score of this person is uh, 0 0.91 and in this case it is 80, 80 85 okay and the bus confidence was like 0 0.96 and it is 85 okay so that's how if you compare okay it would be working very good okay on top of your data now uh, let's see some uh, like multiple objects uh, comparison so uh, if you see the first images uh, it is able to actually detect like most of the things okay here uh, with the uh, with the higher confidence score uh, but here if you see uh, it is like failing some of the thing and uh, the confidence score is like very low here okay so one thing you can notice uh, uh, like yellow v6 detects more objects okay in our images and has a higher confidence score about their levels and the biggest uh, difference between uh, this yellow v5 and yellow v6 is like uh, yellow v5 uses yaml file uh, whereas this yellow uh, v6 defines the model parameters directly in the python file okay so we'll be learning about that okay whenever we'll be doing the installation of this yellow v5 and all so uh, i think now you have got this idea what is yellow v6 uh, like i have given you the high level overview and i have shown you some benchmark and uh, it is like pretty good with compared to yellow v5 okay uh, now it is the next generation object detection framework or algorithm you can talk about so uh, it was uh, all about from this video uh, and i think you ha all have understood so in our next video i'll be showing you the installation of this yolo v6 okay uh, in our machine and uh, uh, 
I mean, I will show you like how to train this YOLO v, v, uh, V6 model, okay, uh, with our custom data set. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video, and I will see you next time.